helmet. I can't remember. The, the, the mystery airheads. <laughs> hey friends, my name is Becky. This is Acre Homestead. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to be doing a project that I was warned not to do because once you do it once, you're going to keep doing it over and over and over again. And you know when someone tells you not to do something, it kind of perks your interest and you're like, hmm, maybe I should try that. Maybe I should do that thing. That's where we're at today. Today we are trying the thing I was warned not to do. And what that is, is we are gonna be freeze drying candy. A lot of different types of candy and I cannot wait. This is gonna be super fun. Definitely a splurge thing to do with a freeze dryer, but it's something that I've seen all over online and we're gonna do it today. Today is two days before Thanksgiving and I wanna get this project done today so that I can bring it to Thanksgiving along with you know the traditional things like pumpkin pie, rolls, cranberry sauce. That's what I'm responsible to bring. But why not bring some novelty items and bring some freeze dried candy and we can taste it together. I was texting my family about like what kind of candy they would want and things like that. And we actually are gonna make a couple of cocktails with some of this candy. So stay tuned because at the end of this, after we do the taste test, we're gonna make a cocktail with some of this freeze dried candy and I'm excited. We have Gummy Bear, Mike and Knight's, Jolly Ranchers, I've seen these all over online, Airheads, Peach Rings, Cinnamon Bears, I think we're gonna make some cocktails out of these Cinnamon Bears, Sour Patch Kids, Skittles, these look really good I've seen online as well, and Caramels, I've actually not seen any freeze dried caramels online so this is gonna be a fun one to try to see if we like. The freeze dryer comes with four trays, if you're interested in checking out which freeze dryer I have, I will leave a link down in the description box. So my mother-in-law's idea of, of a cocktail to make with freeze-dried candy was actually a lemon drop, but I could not find lemon drops anywhere in the stores. I went to three stores today and did not find one lemon drop. So I think I'm gonna have to do some searching and Googling and I will come up with a new cocktail we're gonna make with some of these other candy. I'm going through and unwrapping the caramels. I think these are gonna expand, so I'm gonna give a little bit of space between. Next, we're gonna do Jolly Ranchers. I just put a piece of this great Jolly Rancher in my mouth, and I haven't had a Jolly Rancher in probably 15 or 20 years, and does that not bring back memories of winning candy in Sunday school when I was a kid? Wow. I'm gonna to try to get a bunch of different flavors here. So we have options. I Watermelon Airheads were one of my favorite candies growing up. I don't know if you guys know, but I was actually homeschooled. And every, I can't remember, like Thursday, every other Thursday or something like that, we'd go to the roller skating ring. And my mom would give us 25 cents after, and we could buy a piece of candy. And I would usually buy a Watermelon Airhead. I actually don't like the flavor of real watermelon. I That's one of the only fruits that I really cannot stand but I love 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 watermelon candy I think they are going to expand so I'm trying to give them a little bit of room that tray's done so I started with all the packaged candies first I want to make sure I have room on the trays for some of all the candy I got so we might add more of these just depending on how much room we have on the freeze dryer Sour Patch Watermelons are one of my absolute favorite candies. Growing up, me and my friends, we love to go to the movie theater, and Sour Patch Watermelons and Milk Duds are my go-to candy. At one of the dental offices I used to work at as a dental hygienist, one of the front office ladies always had a big package of Sour Patch Watermelon candies in her desk too, and it was super, super dangerous. I could not eat one because as soon as I ate one, then I had to eat a bunch of them. And my mouth is watering, just smelling the Sour Patch Watermelon candy. Next, we're gonna do peach rings. Oh my gosh, this smells good too. I never buy candy. The only candy I eat is like chocolate, but I never buy like chewy candies like this. And all the memories are flooding back. We're gonna do some cinnamon bears. I think we're definitely gonna make a cocktail out of this because it's getting to be Christmas time. I wish I knew what my family would like the best because then I could freeze dry the most of that, but that's kind of the fun thing about this is we're gonna to learn together what tastes yummy. Next, we're gonna do some gummy bears. If you guys were freeze drying candy, what kind of candy would you guys freeze dry? I, My sister-in-law texted me after I had already got back from the store to do Thin Mints 
And I'm really bummed I didn't get that text till after I was home because I think that would have been a really, really good one too. Have you all tried freeze-dried candy? I've only tried one freeze-dried candy and it was saltwater taffy. And I don't like saltwater taffy, so it wasn't my favorite, but I think some of these in here I'm gonna really, really, really like. We have some Mike and Ikes. A little bit of that. <laughs> Last but not least, we're gonna do Skittles. I still have one full tray. I actually have to be to a family dinner tonight at 6.30 and it is 4.20. I think I have time to go get some Thin Mints. So we're gonna go get Thin Mints and I'll be right back. We just got home with the goods. So now we're gonna put some Junior Mints on here. My husband loves Junior Mints, so I think he's gonna like this. This was my sister-in-law's idea though. And I have some more space here, so what should I finish out with? Friends, I wish you were here to tell me what one I need to do more of, because I don't know which one we're gonna like the best. Hmm. I think I'm gonna do more Skittles, because what I've heard is people absolutely love Skittles that are freeze-dried. So we'll put these little rings here, and I'm just gonna put more Skittles. Probably too many. Oh, these peach O-rings. It's amazing what smell can do with your memory because this is bringing me back to camping at Seaside, Oregon when I was probably six with my friend, Rachel Miltenberger. <laughs> uh, wow. Now that we have the candy prepped and ready to go, we need to get the machine prepped and ready to go. It's super simple. I have a Harvest Right medium sized freeze dryer and it actually walks you through the steps step by step. I was pretty intimidated when I first got this thing but do it once or twice and you're gonna have it down no problem. The first thing you wanna do is check the valve over here and you wanna make sure the valve is closed. The machine works under pressure. The next thing you wanna do is check the pump to make sure the oil level is between the max and the minimum. You do not wanna run your machine without enough oil in it. Once you use it once or twice, you're gonna have no problem with it. The machine actually walks you through step by step by step so you're not gonna forget anything if it's been a little bit between uses. The way that freeze dryers work is they work under pressure. They actually freeze the food first and then they freeze dry them, which it vaporizes the water. So the machine takes about 30 minutes to cool before you actually wanna put the food in the machine. And you can work with frozen food or fresh food. Two of the most common questions I get asked are, does the freeze dryer produce heat? And does it emit a bunch of heat? I don't notice that it emits very much heat at all because it does work under cold temperatures. Actually, a lot of the machine is pretty cool to the touch and the motor in and of itself does not produce very much heat. I would say a food dehydrator produces way more heat because food dehydrator actually uses heat to evaporate the water, whereas a freeze dryer uses cold temperatures to vaporize the water. When you're preserving food, moisture is your enemy and that's kind of the difference between a food dehydrator and a freeze dryer is a food dehydrator uses heat and they do produce quite a bit of heat. Actually, in the summer in my house, I do most of my food dehydrating outside because it produces heat and I don't wanna try to cool my house down only to emit heat with a food dehydrator. Unlike the freeze dryer, I would have no problem freeze drying in my house in the summer because it really does not produce very much heat at all. The second question is how loud is it? And I will show you how loud it is when I turn it on. So we're gonna push the start button. Now that the machine is on, you can hear how loud it is. It does create noise, but it's not an exorbitant amount of noise. It's no more noise than I would say a food dehydrator makes. So if you've ever dehydrated, Food with the food dehydrator, that's about how much noise you're expecting. We are gonna let this cool for 15 minutes and then we'll get it loaded up. I'm a little nervous about this. I'm pretty excited about it. I don't think this is gonna take very long because there's not very much moisture in the actual candy itself. It's actually been 34 hours since I saw you last. Some of the candy in here is taking a lot longer than I would have expected. Some of the things like the Skittles, the Jolly Ranchers, and the Thin Mints or the, the mint chocolate ones, I can't even remember the name of that candy right now, have been done for probably 12 or 14 hours. But some of the other things, they don't look like they're fully done to me, but I think I'm gonna call it and we're gonna pull it out and just see what they look like. So all I'm gonna do now is click the no defrost because as soon as I'm actually done emptying this, I'm gonna put in some bone broth that I have and I'm gonna open the drain valve. This is gonna depressurize it. So one interesting thing to note 
is every other time I've freeze dried something, there's always been a big thing of ice around the outside because there's been a lot of moisture in the things that I've freeze dried. The candy didn't have very much moisture, so it's not creating all that ice. These are Jolly Ranchers Airheads and Caramels. So this is interesting, the chocolate did not freeze dry, but the inside of this candy freeze dried. And these are still really sticky. The peach rings kind of partially freeze dried. Some of them still have some chew to them, it looks like. These did not freeze dry at all, the watermelons. They did not do anything. Here, the Skittles look like alien candy. I love the way these Skittles look, they're super cute. Those are completely freeze dried. Over here, the Myconites didn't really do anything. The Cinnamon Bears didn't do anything. And the Gummy Bears are kind of half freeze dried. So this one here, for some reason, is really freeze dried, but the rest of them are kind of partially freeze dried. Now these Jolly Ranchers and Airheads are completely freeze dried. Like, that is super interesting. I cannot wait to try these tomorrow. And this Caramel didn't do anything. It's still Caramel. Have you guys freeze dried any candy? And if you have, can you guys give me some tips and tricks on it? Because I have seen people freeze dry gummy bears and they freeze dry completely and my gummy bears did not freeze dry completely. So I'm just curious if maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I should have froze the gummy bears first. I'm gonna put all this candy into some mason jars. And this is how I'm gonna transfer them to my mother-in-law's house for Thanksgiving because we're gonna do a big taste test. I guess we're not going to be able to make cinnamon bear cocktails because those cinnamon bears are still completely gummy. The chocolate on this is weird. I wonder if you're not supposed to freeze dry chocolate. candy all jarred up. I'm going to put lids on them and we're going to bring them to Thanksgiving and I'm excited for everyone to try them. I just washed my trays up. I'm going to throw them or put them in the freeze dryer and then I'm going to load them up with a bunch of chicken broth that I made yesterday. When you're freeze drying broth, you actually want to load your trays into the freeze dryer before you put the broth in so you're not carrying a bunch of liquid on these pretty thin trays. I do have an entire video on bone broth if you want to see how to freeze dry bone broth and what that looks like. I'll leave that link to that video down in the description box. But I will see you back tomorrow when we actually give this candy a taste test. I'm pretty excited to give it a try. All right, we are going to try the freeze dried candy. We have a nice line up here. Don't eat it, Jacob. Jacob. All right, so this is my husband's side of the family. These are my two sister in laws, my brother in law, and my sister in law, Lacey, which you've met. And this is my grandma in law. And we are going to try all this freeze dried candy. It's kind of been kind of exciting to get to this point. So these are the ones here that actually freeze dried. Okay, so those are Junior Mints, this is Airheads, Jolly Ranchers, Peachios, and Skittles. Uh, no, oh. Can I try a junior mint? Are we trying them all at the oh. same time? Yeah. Okay. So everyone pass. We're going to start with the junior mints? Or oh, are we? Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, <laughs> okay, let's do it. We can rate it. All right, yeah, let's do a good idea. Mints. Okay, everyone take a junior mint. Don't eat it yet. Okay, don't. It's like communion. Don't eat it. Jacob, oh. watch yourself. Here, can I? Um, Here, I want a junior mint. Here, I want to try one. <laughs> My hand's okay. Did you already eat it? Oh, thanks for that. Junior mint. Do you have a junior mint? Uh, He's not a very good yeah, yeah. Skittles. Oh, do you want our junior mint? Well, wait. Wait. Do you have one? I started no, this grandma. before the roll. Okay, grandma. Grandma. That's fine. Let's start with this one first. Okay, are we going to eat these? You're getting a little oh, rowdy, Grandma. Grandma. Wait, it's so one, hard. I one. can't one. bite it. <laughs> I have to eat this one. Oh, my gosh. That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, go away. You don't have to lie. You just say You just say what it is. She really it's likes it. I like the Jolly, or the, um, junior Mint. The Jolly Junior Mint. It tastes like a cookie. It's like, like a, a crunchy Junior Mint. Oh, it yeah. does taste it's like, like a cookie. It's like a cookie, but like... It's, it's like, like a minty mint. Oreo. It's like a, it's a, like but an amped up girl so crystallized. <gasps> yeah, it's like a thin mint. That was it's good. good. It's that like was a, very good. It's like a kind of... Do you like it, Kai? 
Crystal That's his favorite Lane, candy. So now Junior we're going Mint. from that to, to Sour Patch Kids. Yeah. No, these are Aaron's, right? I already tried one. Down there. I want to try a mystery. That's what I tried. Can you oh, just yeah. break it in half, sir? Oh, white I mystery. Give me the white mystery. This one looks this. like a tongue. I'm going to eat it. Which one is that? There. Oh, that's cherry, I, I think. Yeah. Jacob, Jacob wants a mystery. If you break it, it might just Jacob. flake apart. He wants, this he wants the whole one. You put the whole oh, thing in your mouth all at once. This will not work. She's done okay. this before. This one's definitely harder. Is it? Okay. Hard, isn't it? No, I wouldn't go for this one. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> there was a pizza. I'm gonna break my mouth. You're gonna spill it with a pizza over there. More artificial. Like I, I feel like it tastes sour. <laughs> it intensifies flavors. Yeah, there. a lot. Which are these? They're just regular. Oh, there's a blue. They're pink and green. Jolly jolly. <laughs> Wait, Jacob, are you eating the Skittles? No. <laughs> I want the blue one. Okay, so. How wasteful. Do you like the junior yeah, mints? Oh. What are these? What Those are junior more? mints. Oh, oh, I love mint. Yeah, yeah. I love mint this. and chocolate. Should be doing this for all of them. Wait, are we trying this? No. No. The skittles are good. Yeah, the skittles should all the be like. The skittles are really good, but they're really crunchy. I really like them. Renee, did you try the skittles? What do you I mean? Really really I need to cleanse my palate. And they're really crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the skittles. I like the chewiness of the skittle. I'm not actually usually a skittles person. No. I like these, so it must be the opposite for me. This video is gonna be all crunchy. I think it's something yeah, like the best. You like the yeah, mints? Yeah, the junior mints are really good. Oh, I like the Skittles. The Skittles are good. The Skittles are good. I like those. Mm -hmm. All right. These I, I don't do it though. I, I think I like the Jolly Ranchers now. Wait, if you have a lemon Skittle, <laughs> or, or like a, like a lemon I don't know, you might call them Jolly Puff Balls. <laughs> the Jolly Puff Balls. I'm scared to eat these, kind of. I don't know how to eat it. So, do we just I'm mix the whole thing balls. in my mouth? Mm -hmm. I feel like and it was a good thing. Yeah. It's like cotton candy or something. Okay, ready? All right. No, I'm gonna have one, huh? Two, three. Oh, that's that's bomb. Mm. That is strange. <laughs> it's sour. Mm. It's like the Airheads then. <laughs> Did you try the Jolly Rancher? No, I don't need it. That is very good. <laughs> is it good? I don't like Jolly Ranchers. These ones are the easiest to eat. They're so sour, though. I don't like Jolly Ranchers. You know They're really soft. No. It's a little too sticky for me. Can I just say that the Skittles are really good? Yeah, they're really no. good. Yeah. <laughs> no, the Jolly Ranchers are really good. I don't know that I could eat more than like what I just did. I mean, that's a lot <laughs> of sugar. I just put the whole thing in my mouth. <laughs> it makes you feel like you're eating way more sugar than you are. Well, you would do you eat bath bombs often? Wait, yeah. There, so what? Grim, are these chewy? No more than the next guy. Yeah, very. They're, they're chewy. They, they didn't fully um, freeze dry. So they're like half freeze dried, half stale. Okay. It was like 48 hours. So like if my front teeth are then I'm... So I probably need to break it. I don't need yeah, to. Yeah, now she's trying to bite. I've got a, oh. I've got a retainer. <laughs> oh, so yeah, I'll bust your skin. I'm going to need... Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Line, <laughs> it's back to line, not apple. That's weird. I'm not working. See, I like the apple. I actually okay, really like it. The, 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 apple or, oh, the yellow part freeze-dried, but the top didn't. Oh, that's interesting. So like it's half and half. I don't like PGO, so I haven't eaten one. It's actually yeah, good. It makes it like a peep. Yeah, I you oh, interesting. Like a what? Like a peep? Yeah. Like it tastes like marshmallow yeah. texture. Oh, yeah, but much yeah. chewier, like a stale peep. I just destroyed mine over here. It's okay. Crust, Is the overall consensus the Skittles? Yeah. yeah. No, and the Junior Mints. The Junior Mints. Oh, the Junior Mints. Oh, the Junior I wonder what a Milk Dead would do. I tried caramel and it like didn't do anything, so I don't know, but we I'll have to try it. I think mean, my least favorite was the Airheads. Yeah, okay. I do not like this. I usually love Airheads, and that was very unsettling. <laughs> I like the Jolly Ranchers crushed with powder. No. Oh? Like, oh. Like, oh. like if you put it on like a cake or something. More martini rims. See, that's what we were gonna do. We were gonna do um. Lemon drop. Yeah, but I couldn't mm -hmm. find I couldn't find um lemon drops. Lemon, lemon, drops. Heads. <laughs> lemon heads. I can't stop chewing. Yeah. We're still eating our pizza. I think the Skittles are the top winner. It's like a golf ball. I think but the junior mints are where it's at. 